Hello, in today's video I'll be teaching you on how to get started off with competitive Beat Saber and climb up the ranks. I'll be teaching you on how to gain performance points and how to install ranked maps. Let's get on with it. Many people including myself have made modding tutorials on YouTube and I won't be getting into how to mod a game today. But to make sure that you're installing one of the leaderboard systems, check if in mod assistant you have score saber and or beat leader selected. If you want to install both, make sure that you download leaderboard core alongside with them so they can both work properly together. To check your profile, for score saber, if you go to scoresaber.com and search up your Steam or Oculus username, your profile will show up. For beat leader, if you have a beat leader account on standalone Oculus, then search up your username with the one you entered when you were signing up. If you're on PC, then search up your Steam or Oculus username, and it will show up. If you see multiple profiles, select the one with your Steam profile picture, but if you're on Quest standalone, it should be the one with the Pepe wearing sunglasses. Or if you're on Oculus PC, it should be the one with the Oculus logo. Every rank level has gone through a quality check so it can be considered a good rankable level that doesn't have any errors in the map. You can check what maps are ranked if the leaderboard of the level gives out performance points, or if it says that it's ranked in the top of the leaderboard. If you have the better song search mod, you can sort the search algorithm to show only ranked. That option is located in the bottom left of the UI. You will gain ranks by how many performance points, or PP for short, you have combined in your profile, similar to Osu. The player with the most amount of PP is put on rank number 1, and the player with the second most amount of PP is ranked number 2, and so on and so forth. Now you might be asking, how does PP work? In each level you gain a certain amount of PP, the higher the accuracy, the more PP you get. It also applies to higher star rating maps, but we'll get into that later. So for example, if you get a 94% on a 10 star, you'll get a 390 PP or so. But if you get a 90%, you'll get 360 PP or so. But that amount of PP isn't what you'll actually get. Instead, that is actually your raw PP. The real amount of PP that you get is weighted PP, which is the amount that you see in the brackets of each rank score you get. That means that that's the amount of PP amount that you gain. Every rank score you will get will have a weighted PP amount. That is the amount of PP you gain. The way it's calculated is that your top PP play will be worth 100% of its raw PP, and your second highest PP play will be worth 96.5% of its raw PP, and so on and so forth. This system exists so that someone with 250 PP plays isn't put at the same rank as somebody with one 100 PP play. It also makes players get higher and better plays on their profile and go up the ranks. It also means players can't just go to easier maps and game PP by just playing those easier maps. A star rating is the difficulty of a level. For example, final phase is 12.79 stars, which makes it the hardest level in score saber ranking system. Accuracy is determined by how big you swing and the amount of points you get by hitting the block. For example, if you swing at the angle of 100 degrees upwards and a 60 degree downward swing, that counts as a full swing. And after that swing, if you hit the block in the exact middle, you will get the maximum score of 115 points. If you want to learn more about accuracy, please check out this video uploaded by the Cube Community. They've made a lot of how to improve videos in the past, and I recommend you guys check them out. And so has Electrostats with his Time to Improve series. I'll put all the links in the description so you can check them out. 